people are very evil like indirectly you are alone in this world my name is mrs stephen in case you don't know and i create lifestyle content and travel videos i make vlogs as well in this video i'm going to be sharing with you all what i learned this my 20 i don't even know how to put this in the same i'm just going to be sharing the things i learned this year and last year that i feel like it might help some of you with somebody who loves me oh, 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 oh. merry christmas oh, 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 oh. welcome back again so before i get into this video right you guys have to stay to the end to know who won the giveaway for this year i want to be doing giveaway the person that was most active this year is going to be getting a prize yes stay tuned to the end to find out probably you're the lucky one i don't know so yeah let's go to the video some of you all know that i clocked 21 this year november 11 before i even clocked 21 guys i learned a lot these days i've been seeing youtubers in their 20s saying things they they went through in their 20s they learned a lot and stuff like that it's a good idea saying things like it was people are just out there thinking that the world is against them if you're in your 20 just know that you're automatically an adult so you just have to find a way to make things go your way or just adjust just adjust and allow things to just flow or i don't just know just you just have to know what to do first thing i want to talk about is loving myself this year i learned in the worst way <laughs> that i need to love myself more so i want to focus on the friends here because i'm someone that i feel like oh life is not complete without friends my mommy was like that but yeah fortunately for her she dropped friends immediately she dropped friends aside from that she stopped talking to them or something but the fact that she stopped she stopped like taking their advice and started living her own life i don't know if that makes sense see that when she started getting on her feet and started her making money for us i think i'm at that stage my mommy was then so i feel like i like friends i like making friends but not everybody that wants the best for you people feel like oh they have to depend on a guy on men on a future husband to have money why some girls feel like i need to work for my money why some people feel like oh i have to use my money to get what i want my body to get what i want so people are just different so i feel like um people that i have close to me now people that are like me if you see me talking to someone just know that either they have a good heart or they have one quality that i like in human beings that they just have whenever i stay alone i feel like i achieve more than usual and uh, whenever I'm with my friends i just feel like oh let me just keep work aside let me just keep assignment aside let me just keep keep this aside and just pay attention to what my friends are actually saying to be in the moment to live in the moment that's just the type of person I am. I say this many times to some of my friends that I just don't feel like I'm sorry, the smoke is entering the car. I'm here inside the car because of I'm in the village and I um they don't have we don't have ring lights here. Yes, we don't have ring lights. Beginning of this year, I want to just be more friendly, we get more friendly. Probably I'm the one that is causing the bad luck for myself, not that my destiny is not to have friends. But unfortunately, I, of course I prayed about it you know when you pray to God about something with your sincere heart it's going to just answer you like this I told God that I put any friends that I have now that you don't like that you don't want them in my life just get rid of them like that and it happened it so happened that everybody was offending me that period that period everybody not that I'm not saying that those people are bad but you know when God just wants you to leave this person, you get. When God just wants to, want you to leave this person, you just have to. You will make the person do the worst thing to you that you have to learn to leave the person. The next point is going to be family. Family is more than important. So, just this 20, I learned that your family 
is your strength and your weakness i say that your strength and weakness is because the family will be the ones to discourage you they will be the one to judge every of your move if it if it doesn't start from your family it's not going to start anywhere it's better for you to receive an insult from your family first then stranger second family will train you how to handle hard um situations at the same time that same family are the one that are going to support you last at the end of the day i really want to be the one to buy <laughs> i'm using myself as an example now um, because even though they will tell you you are not this you're not that you know that you are this you know that just that why are you saying that why they're actually going against it because of you never show them that quality side of you that particular side of you are trying to show them like me being a youtuber it's just like new thing for them that's still trying to adjust me talking doing youtube sometimes and then we just come and look at me like ha, who's she talking to <laughs> so they're just adjusting to it now but before if i were just saying that oh, i want to be filming and that came up on the call they'll be like hmm who watch you stuff like that stuff like that at the end of the day you're shocking that that they're the ones that say wow you're doing good though you can do it though then when they will encourage you they will see your quality and they will start supporting you well, so you just have to endure their crazy kenny with them i just learned that they said that family will always be your family the god puts you in in your current situation in your current family for a reason when someone doubts you prove to them that oh i'm capable of this don't talk like that i'm someone that takes things personal so whenever someone tells me something because of that i'll go <laughs> i'll go to the person's back and work hard to shame them okay that's just me so if everybody in this world is to take in this whole world is to take this particular side of me it means that hate comments won't be called hate comments anymore they'll be called motivation yeah let's go to the next point test people test people if you're someone that likes people you like adding people to your life then be testing them why i even heard this testing something because of the bible verse i read people can pretend but nobody can act for long nobody can act for long if someone can act for long it means that that person should be feared after god but nobody can all human beings are the same in that kind of in that particular aspect Anything relationship basically just test but even if you're yeah, a CEO, test your employees, test all single one of them. Because people need people they can trust. People are really evil. That's what I learned this year. People are very evil. Unless you are evil, you don't need evil someone in your life. Okay? Just test everybody. Test them. People don't feel comfortable about that world. But nobody has to know you're testing them. Nobody has to even know you are part of people that test people. For me, hearing someone speak is enough for me to know the kind of person that person is. If you know that, that you find as a red flag, use something like that to test someone. If they fail it, you know what to do before it gets too late. Let's say that. <laughs> Let's go to another topic, okay? To take things slow doesn't mean I should give up, it just means I should take a step after another i just figured out i i just need to stop rushing myself i know what i want already and god knows what i want i didn't just on my time because you might be this you might be in this position today and if god feels like you don't deserve it hmm, you put someone else in that position but if god feel like oh he have promoted you enough let someone let someone else take over what that you're going to go back on well, that you'll be going for the higher higher levels and people that are upcoming will be taking those small small jobs small small opportunities i don't know if you're getting it just everything just turn by turn but wherever you see yourself today just appreciate god every day for that position trust me trust me i can relate to that it's even for even waking up and breathing without even falling sick you just have to be thankful 
and trust God with everything that you do and trust me trust me you're going to be surprised you're going to be surprised so I'm just going to leave myself I don't know my family um, from I know where we are coming from and where we are now that example is enough for me to know that I have to trust God and his process many people are praying for this position you are today many people are hoping they can be like you many people are praying they can even bear the same bold traits as you okay so if you don't value it <laughs> i can be ungrateful sometimes but recently i've been like thinking back like this was not where i was last two years ago or where i was last five years ago or even 10 years ago even 19 years ago this wasn't where i was so I have to be thankful. Let's go to the next point. The next point and final point that I feel like I've said before that I kind of relate to, which is the first point, which is loving yourself, like taking care of yourself as you've known your weaknesses and your strengths and the thing your body loves and the thing that you don't love and the thing and the things that are healthy and the things that are not healthy you just have to know those things and start taking care of yourself okay like indirectly you are alone in this world i don't say indirectly i don't even know what i indirectly but you just know you're, you're on your own in this world know that you are fully alone just that nobody actually knows what is going inside or what you're feeling or what stuff like that if you're the one that knows you, you know you, and you know you more than your mom knows you. It's just God that knows you more inside and out. Sometimes you don't want to tell your people what you're passing through, what you're facing. So to avoid things like that, of regret or something like that happening, you have to take care of yourself. Nobody will have to know everything in your life. Know what you don't like, know what you regret, and stay away from them. Take if you know you have body odor, take care of yourself, okay? Nobody has to come and insult you before you know you take care of yourself. If you are having infection, you feel like you are feeling infection, you feel something that is unusual, take care of yourself, take antibiotics or something, go and meet a doctor. You owe it to yourself to take care of yourself, okay? Okay, so this year's giveaway, December giveaway, through this year's giveaway goes to I've been trying to reach her since, but number is just not going, and she's not online. I will keep trying, but the giveaway goes to her, and the gift, the money will be waiting for her until she comes online, even if it's the next three days. So long she was the most active this year, it's still going to be her. So expect the next giveaway um this next year, January. And I'll be judging that from the highest comment or the most active person. And I judge from on my social networks. I love you all. Thank you guys for watching the video and I hope it was helpful. If it was, please share to your friends or any of your loved ones. And also subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'm always begging you guys to subscribe. Don't forget. Okay? With somebody who loves me. Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas!